Welcome to Dolby On. Record audio, video, and live stream with incredible sound quality using just your mobile device. In this video, we'll show you how to record, live stream, edit, and share using Dolby On. This tutorial is conducted with an iPhone, so some features may not be available yet or may look different on an Android device. To start recording audio, tap the microphone icon on the home screen. If this is your first time recording, you'll need to grant permission for Dolby On to use your phone's microphone. A pop-up will appear saying, Dolby On would like to access your microphone. Record everything on high quality Dolby sound. Tap OK to continue. Once you're done recording, just tap the stop icon. After you complete your first recording, a pop-up screen will appear showing you all the things Dolby On did to improve the sound quality of your recording. This includes things like noise reduction, dynamic EQ, stereo widening, compression, de-essing, volume maximization, normalization, and easy fades. Select Got It to continue. Congrats, you have successfully recorded your first track. Tap the track icon in the top right corner to hear it back now, or Click the Musical Notes icon in the bottom left corner to view it in your library. To record video, swipe to the video icon. If this is your first time using the app, a pop-up will appear asking for permission to use your device's microphone. Tap OK to continue. To adjust the camera, tap the camera icon in the top right corner. You can face your camera towards you or in front of you. Once you're done recording, just tap the stop icon. To start a live stream, swipe right to the live stream icon. A prompt will appear with some quick tips to get started. Tap Let's Go to begin. First, you'll need to choose what platform destination you'd like to live stream to. Start by tapping the Choose Streaming Account button. You can see you have a few pre-built social media options to choose from, like Twitch and Facebook. Just tap the destination you prefer and log into your account. To adjust your audience further, just tap the Streaming Options button. For more destination choices, you can choose the Custom URL option. The Custom URL option lets you connect to even more platforms like YouTube and Vimeo. Simply copy and paste the appropriate RTMP info and streaming key of your desired platform. Next, be sure to give your live stream a title and description. This way, your fans will know more about your streaming topic. Now, it's time for a sound check. Be sure to frame your shot by setting up your phone or tablet and ensure your space is properly lit. You can set the camera towards you or in front of you by using the camera icon. When you're ready, tap the sound check button, then tap the test button to record your sound check test. Just hit stop when you're done. Now, tap the playback button to hear it back and ensure your audio levels and setup are just right. Click done when finished. Now before you go live, we recommend keeping your comment feeds available nearby on a separate device so you can view feedback and engage with your viewers in real time. Now that you're logged in and your sound check is complete, it's time to go live. Tap the Go Live button to begin your stream. Your tracks and videos are stored in the Dolby On library. Tap the Musical Notes icon to open the library. You'll see that Dolby On has added some preloaded tracks so you can experiment and explore what Dolby On can do. Your library is organized by tabs at the top of the screen. View all tracks, favorites, audio tracks, or videos. You can manage your library by renaming and selecting your favorite tracks. To rename a track, simply select a recording and tap the name to edit. To favorite a track, simply tap the star icon. Favorited tracks will now appear in the Favorites tab in your library. If you'd like to delete any recordings or just want to clear up some space, you can delete tracks by swiping right on your item and tapping the trash icon. 
Dolby On makes editing your tracks and videos easy. Before you begin editing, we always recommend throwing on some headphones so you can hear adjustments clearly. First, to hear what your track would sound like with and without Dolby On enhancements, just toggle the Dolby On switch off, then on. Now we'll explore Dolby On's easy to use editing tools. Tap the Tools button. In the upper left corner, you'll see the Styles button. Think of these like photo filters, but for audio. Technically, Styles are targeted sound profiles that Dolby's unique dynamic EQ applies to your recording. You can choose from a number of styles. There's Standard, which is Dolby On's signature curve, Natural, which is classical inspired with a smooth, mellow curve, Thump, an EDM influence curve, Amped, which enhances bass and treble for an exaggerated rock profile, Lyric, a vocal presence without compromise. Deep, which is great for added bass and for when you need it louder. And lastly, Off, which is neutral with no EQ effect. You can tap the Styles button again to adjust the intensity. Experiment and explore Dolby On Styles and remember, you can add additional editing as well. Next, Explore the Noise Reduction, Tone, and Boost tools. Tap the Noise Reduction button to take out ambient background noises. You can adjust the intensity of the noise reduction effect by sliding the scale from gentle to strong. Select the check mark when done with your adjustments. Next up is the Tone tool. Use this tool to adjust bass, mids, and treble. Return to the Tool screen to experiment with Boost. The Boost tool combines professional compression and limiting to give you the ideal loudness for your track. For a louder, more compressed sound, turn up Boost. For more dynamic range and space, turn it down. Next up is the Trim tool. Use this tool to determine the start and end points of your recording. Drag your finger down from the circle, then back and forth to get more precise control of timing. Again, be sure to select the check icon when done with your changes. Once you're done making changes to your audio, just tap Done in the upper right corner. To discard changes, just tap Cancel. When you're done editing and enhancing with tools, you can share your audio in a number of ways. To share or export your tracker video, tap the Share arrow icon. You can share your recordings on several different audio and video platforms installed on your device. Be sure to tag your social media posts with hashtag DolbyOn to show us what you got. If you'd like to share an audio-only file on social media, you're going to need to add a visual. Most social media platforms don't allow you to share audio-only content because they're built for sharing videos and photos only. The good news is, DolbyOn makes it easy to add animations to your tracks. Tap the three-dot icon in the corner and select Add Visuals. Play around with the animation options and once you've found the right one, just tap Select to apply. The Dolby On Settings tab provides options for support, lossless audio, sharing, and more. Tap the tool icon in the bottom right corner to enter settings. Under the Spread the Word heading, you can share Dolby On with bandmates and friends via text, give Dolby On a rating in the App Store, and suggest features you'd like to see in the app. We're always looking for input and suggestions. In the Audio Options section, you can add a countdown timer, turn on monitoring for recording with headphones, enable lossless recording, and add a Dolby On watermark when live streaming to let your fans know you're recording with high quality audio. Under the Connect section, you can sign in and out of your social media accounts like SoundCloud, Facebook, and Twitch. Lastly, under the Help section, you can get support or view our legal language and updates. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Thanks for trying Dolby On and happy recording.